for fans of Diana Gabaldon's Outlander franchise, it is no surprise that Roger Wakefield, Richard Rankin, followed Brianna Randall, Sophie Skelton, through the stones in the fourth season of Stars as epic, romantic drama, based on Gabaldon's Drums of Autumn novel. It looked as if their relationship had come to an end when Brianna refused Roger's marriage proposal at the Scottish Festival, but even though they went their separate ways, he back to Scotland, she to continue school in Boston, he continues to be madly in love with her. He's in love with her to a fault, but everyone has their limits, Rankin tells Parade.com in this exclusive interview. I think one of the things that drives Roger towards doing what he inevitably does at the festival, where he proposed, is the fact that he's trying to find himself, he's trying to find direction in his own life. Just as Outlander fans are swept up in the passionate connection between Jamie, Sam Hewen, and Claire, Katrina Balfe, that spans centuries, they have come to adore Roger for being willing to risk his all, including his life and his family home, all for his love of Brianna and his desire to see her safe. So saying, he takes the enormous risk and follows her back in time. The primary reason is absolutely Brianna, Rankin says of Roger's decision. But the Glasgow-born actor feels there is more to it. The idea of being able to travel through stones is a mythological thing that has been in his life, that he's been aware of since he was a boy, Rankin continues. It's the stones and everything that they represent. So, that is a reality he probably has thought about a lot. If he was tempted to go back, 1767 is not the time that he would choose to go back to. That's not where Roger would be, so I can only conclude from that, that he primarily goes back to find Brianna, talk some sense into her and get the hell back to the time in which they belong. For the uninitiated, Roger's ability to time travel was passed down from his ancestor Galus Duncan, Lord of Urbake, who had born an illegitimate son by Dougal Mackenzie, Graham McTavish. What we discovered in Season 3, Voyager, was that Dougal kept Galus from being burned at the stake as a witch in Season 1 in order to save his son's life, which later had dire consequences for Jamie, Claire and young Ian, John Bell. Galus isn't the only character up to no good in the Outlander franchise. Season 4 has Stephen Bonnet, Ed Spillers, and Roger has his own encounter with the pirate having no idea that Bonnet has already come across Jamie and Claire and relieved them of all of their worldly goods, including the gemstones they were going to sell to either buy passage back to Scotland or start life in the new world, and also the wedding ring that Jamie gave Claire. What is so agonizing about the whole Stephen Bonnet aspect of the story is every one of these characters has had an opportunity at some point to get in the way of Bonnet and stop the domino effect that ripple effect of what he then comes to do further on down the line, Rankin says. Which just makes it all the more annoying from an audience perspective, I suppose. He's just such an interesting bad guy, because he is an utter psychopath, and Ed plays it with this charming, endearing quality which does lure you in. I think it's fascinating how he does affect each of the characters live separately, as well as together. Psychopath that Bonnet may be with his habit of deciding whether someone lives or dies at the toss of a coin, he and Roger have a bizarre relationship. What Roger experienced on the Gloriana horrified him, and his reaction to Bonnet's throwing passengers overboard who may have had smallpox, was to try to spare mother and her baby. But he gets caught. There's a quality we see in each other that, for some reason causes Bonnet to spare Roger's life because he seems to find Roger quite endearing for some reason, Rankin says. There's a quality that he quite likes in him, because had it been anyone else, he would have been off the back of the Gloriana. Stephen Bonnet would just have done away with him. On Sunday night's episode of Outlander, Roger's diligent search for Brianna pays off when he finds her in Wilmington, but their romantic reunion comes to an abrupt halt when she discovers pertinent information that he intentionally kept from her. Meanwhile, Jamie and Claire attend the theater with Governor Tryon, Tim Downey, at his request, and discover a plot against the regulators that tests Jamie's loyalty to Tryon, 